Hey guys, gals, friends, and pals, this is Paul Eastex Twitch. We are taking a first look at Panzer Dragoon Remake for Nintendo Switch. It is a timed Switch exclusive remake of the classic Sega Saturn and PC game, which was also ported to PlayStation 2 in Japan at one point. Time goes by, passing their existence in fear of the ever present shadow of cyber genetic warfare. The few remaining human beings struggle to regain the power they've lost. With the desolate future, the people look to their past for a glint of hope. Excavations at an ancient tower have provided the people with a deadly arsenal now turned upon their foes. This power has created strife among surrounding nations, all struggling against each other in the evil forces of the Dark Dragon. <laughs> yes, that is true. We don't do that. The fate of the world rests on something or other. Intro time. So Sega actually created their own language for this game in Japan. Longbox, we're glad you made it. Good to see you. We're just starting the intro of Panzer Dragoon Remake for Switch. This game costs $24.99, by the way. Oh, that explains it. You got mad and muted her, huh? That just threw everything into chaos. People riding around on... Big creatures. They look up and what do they see? A huge ship overhead. A battleship. Is it one of ours? But why here? They look a lot of like Star Wars. Yeah. Oh, that. Sure. Well, I'm glad you two made up. What's that scorpion thing for? It's fast. I guess we're hunting it. I kill it. <laughs> In an alternate world where dinosaurs still exist. This is exciting so far. It's very yellow. The original game wasn't so yellow. How's your day going, Mongbox? I heard one of your kids got sad about not being able to go to school. I wish high schoolers were like that. <laughs> we do have some kids, you know, like I had my kids write basically about a, a journal entry about what the break has been like for them. And there were some kids who expressed sadness at not being able to go to school. They mostly miss their friends and stuff. It's not like I miss learning. A little bit of that, just not the dominant amount. So it looks like our heroes wandered into these ruins. There's ancient technology here. You're just ambling around on this reptilian creature. Ancient technology being our technology. Well, not regular technology. This is like the far, far future. Mm. Yeah. It's a trap! Yep. Things are going up. Got some aircraft. Man, this is really interesting so far. Uh-oh. The little guy, what happened to him? Run ah! for it! Yep, he's in trouble. It's a big genetic monster of some kind. Four laptops. That sounds like a bit of a hassle. Oh my. Uh oh. The arrows bounce right off. He squished our mouth. What else is happening in here? Whoa, thank goodness. Locked out on that one. <laughs> hey, a dragon. Pterodactyl. No, dragon. Pterodactyl. Dragoon, technically. Uh oh. And there's another person on a dragon. You're gonna fight. He's had enough. He's like, whoa. I've had enough of this crap. Whoa, what's lighting up? 
The whole place is going up in smoke. Fire breathing dragon. You made it out. Look at all that awesome technology. You're right, it was a dragon. Yep. I have played the original quite a while ago. Hey, Big Latino Heath, thank you for joining us tonight. Uh oh, he's shooting at the other dragon. Pterodactyl. His has a really long nose. Yes. It looks more like a Quetzalcoatlus if it's gonna look like anything, but still. Proboscis. They're actually really distinctive dragon designs. Uh. Like, hey, come here. It's all right. Touch the dragon. Love him. It's a whole new world. Looks like they're establishing a psychic bond of some kind. Don't let him go back to the tower. My dragon knows the way. Man, this is just really, really interesting. Please. Oh, he's injured. This is just like the beginning of Green Lantern. Oh. Passes on the power ring. That one movie where they... aren't, aren't you guys going to say hi to BX Latino? Mongbox, Wolfblade, Thyrenia, and Perfect Zero are all here. They just don't want to say hi, BX. I'm sorry. The demon inhabited him now. Aww. He's a nice dragon. Yep, let's ride it. You'll notice they didn't show him getting on the dragon because it's like 15 minutes of just slipping off the sides, you know? You have to play the Benny Hill theme. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yay, BX isn't discouraged. Isn't this really amazing, you guys? This is a very good introduction. Mm -hmm. And it's not just like using the old video file of the original game or something. This is newly redone following the what was shown in the original. It looked good to me. Yeah, little dragons like the one that you're riding on. Oh yeah, he's swirling around. Pretty music. How's the game volume, everyone? Can you hear the game? Classic. What, what other modes do we have? Modern. We're going to try modern. Alright, I'm told the volume is good. Rotate cameras with the triggers, fire, the right trigger, hold the auto aim. Zoom in with up and down on the D pad. Sounds good to me. Let's do this. Panzer Dragoon for Nintendo Switch from Forever Entertainment. Thank you very much for the code to stream, Forever Entertainment. Unit 2 activated. Commence final program sequence. So there is an evil empire in these games. Do you guys remember we streamed Panzer Dragoon Orta for the original Xbox, playable on Xbox One, about seven months ago, maybe? No, it's got to be about nine months now. Eight or nine months. Here we go. Didn't we just watch this whole intro? I thought we did. All right, we're skipping. Episode one. Cool looking font. Very. I'd install that true typeface. Loading, it's loading, better loading. than the other episode one. <laughs> That's true. 
but so is having an anal rectumectomy. I don't know what that is, but I'll go with you. Well, it's a removal of the... Okay. <laughs> one thing or another. Touche. Here we go. Now there are some colors. Ah, how do we lock on? I don't know how to lock on. Well, this is gorgeous. Hi, Brian. The only thing... Let's try the other control option. Oh, there's even a photo mode. They know how pretty it is. Sound settings, back to menu. Dang it. There's no way to adjust the controls mid-game. You can do that if you want to look around. Seriously need turbo for this. this look, I don't see a way to... Oh, there we go. It actually locked onto something for once. That's more like it. I love Turbo. What can I say? The movie Turbo about the snail? That's one of my favorite movies ever. Ever? I'm doing a bit. <laughs> Turbo, a Power Rangers adventure, something like that. Much better than the original Power Rangers movie. Still doing a bit. How's it going today, Lyle? Are you feeling any better? Lyle, for some reason, would rather play Call of Duty than Fantasy Star with us. He's being a silly head. Well, you can, you just couldn't lock on if you did it. Hey, human Brian. I'd love to see you playing Call of Duty, Brian. Ah, what hit me? The giant for a Roche ball. Sorry. This is the giant spear machine. Could be. Ah! Chicago's here. Good to see you, Chicago and Brian. Thank you for joining us on this midweek stream, guys. It looks like emailing about the stream did help a little. That or you guys are tuning in specifically because it's Panzer Dragoon. The music's really pretty. So this is a timed exclusive, meaning it will come to PlayStation 4 and Steam. I don't know if it's coming to Xbox at all, though it definitely should, especially since Orta was Xbox exclusive. Yeah, it's a bit like Star Fox. It's a rail shooter of the same genre. I wish I could do a barrel roll. Look at all that lighting. Definitely. Brian, it, I think you missed the wonderful introduction. Like, the introduction was very RPG-like and fascinating. Yes, it is very good, and only 25 bucks. For the production values that it, that they used, that's easily worth it to me, especially when you remember the Saturn game used to be a $50 game. Hey, Jonah, we're glad you made it. Naraka class Imperial Battleship. A little bit of frame rate stutter during that cinematic. Oh boy. Well, that's cool, Icky. Yeah, it was on PC back in the day. And by the way, if you have an Xbox and you think this game looks cool, don't forget that Panzer Dragoon Orta, the sequel, the fourth game in the series, is available on Xbox One for 10 bucks. We streamed it back in the day, and it was a lot of fun. Although I would say that Orta maybe overcomplicated the controls and the gameplay options a bit. I kind of like the more simplistic ones of the original in Part 2 better. Yeah, the Steam version will be even prettier, that's for sure. 
Good memories. I'm glad to hear it, Link. The Xbox sex? Yeah, that thing's going to be very sexy. It's in the name and everything. Ah! Where's he going? There he is. Would you fly in a ship that looked like that? No dirigibles blow up. Yeah, but do we even know if it's filled with gas? Ah, don't... Is that thing going to come at me? I get the impression that it is. Yep. Oh god! No, don't do it. Yep. Did I hit it? Uh, you can't lock onto it. Come on, rocket. Torpedoes aren't supposed to work like that. Ow! No, it's just, it's running into me. See, it's kind of hard to rapidly press the right trigger. Run! I suck at that part. Please stop doing that attack, boss. She almost had him dead. <laughs> well, I mean, torpedoes aren't supposed to come out of the water and fly at you, are they? Got him, There's thank goodness. Missiles. No more. Uh, I do have the Nintendo Pro Controller. No, there's no multiplayer. None of these games has ever had multiplayer. It took me a little while to warm up to the controls, but I mostly get them now. Shot down ratio... 30%. Okay. 84. You get one credit. Hey, I earned a credit. I don't know what they're for. Presumably to unlock things. The series also quite often has really good unlockables. Like in Panzer Dragoon Orta, you can unlock the first game. So you can unlock the original PC version of this game on Xbox One. I think that feature still works. Slam, that's right. <laughs> Transmission from the patrol ship, sir. Lady Kanak, we're glad you made it. Glad to see you both. I hope you're having a great day. To all ships, prepare for battle. Inform ground troops to position wire barricade. Uh oh. We must capture that dragon at all costs. Aren't they also remaking part two of this? I think they are. Yeah. I guess so, Chicago. Technically, that is what those missiles were. And yeah, second two-player mode in any kind of shooter is always welcome. This series, it's telling an RPG-like story, you know, a very focused, solitary story through the means of a rail shooter. And yeah, I guess they just didn't see the need for multiplayer, unfortunately. Tway. Ah. Yep, those were the days. Episode 2, let's do it! Oh boy. So look, I turned on turbo. <laughs> There's two fire buttons so I can do that without losing the lock-on feature. Look at that big sucker. When there's a way to do turbo, I'll always find it. You're right, Rayman 1 did have really wonderful music. Sorry, guys. What if they were peaceful? They seemed peaceful. I don't think they seem ah. here. They're just all over. You can use the radar to tell where the enemies are. It's just a lot to keep up with. Hey, Mr. Griffin! Yeah, there is a VR one coming out. That's going to be really amazing, I bet. Look at that. Oh, they probably won't let you look in all crazy directions while you play. I'll find a way to make it work. I would hope. Ah! That's what I get for letting off the fire. I don't know what they are. Alright, where... Ah. Having to watch the radar is a bit of a pain. Whoop! Yep, turned the wrong way.
Giant ant turtle. Why am I flying through this cavern thing? Oh neat. Played Panzer Dragon's Way. I had that. See, I had the demo of the very first game, but I owned Part 2's Way. And then I owned Panzer Dragon's Saga, which was so wonderful, and somebody stole it, unfortunately, so... That game commands a very high price because it was severely underproduced and is remembered as a completely unique, singular, special JRPG, which it was. And I really hope... I don't think Sega or Forever Entertainment are going to actually ever remake Panzer Dragon Saga. That's why I wish the fans would. Somebody needs to. That game deserves to be preserved for the ages. This way is pronounced Zai. Zvi? Oh, Zvi, is that what you're saying? Stay back! Whoa, look at that. Uh-oh. It's the big guy. Just shoot a little bit of a shell off for fun. Hi. Panzer Dragoon's Vi. I can try to say that. Ah! Leave me alone. He's not... I mean... He's not actually flying, so I wouldn't say he was kiting. Hi, Ted. Whatever. He's not doing it. Hard exoskeleton on the outside of a bug. Oh. With a rich nougaty center. Yes. Yum. Back here. Why are you running? Yeah, no shell. Give it up while you can. Uh oh. I don't care if people are playing Animal Crossing. Unless Nintendo sent me a review copy, then I would care a lot. <laughs> yeah, well, like, yeah, I'm pretty good at that. Not as good as some people I know. The heck? I you can see the. Played it. <laughs> you can see the drawing in the background. We we're talking about making the worm naked. Well, no, no, no. Animal Crossing. Right. We're tempted to get it because we see how much you guys love it, but we've got enough stuff to play. Dragon. Look out, it's a prototype dragon. Really cool music. I've forgotten how good the soundtracks were in these games. Eyes behind me. Leave me alone. I don't even want to lock on when I can just do this. I'm not so good at aiming, as you can see. Ow! He had no trouble aiming at me. Yeah, the crosshair is weird. It's like, as you can see, it's the end of the square shapes. Oh, wrong way. Oh god. Don't kill me. That was one thing. When we were streaming Panzer Dragon and Orda, I died several times. I'll probably die in this, too. But, you know, for streaming, it's better not to. Now I want to get the soundtrack to this. By the way, if you remember the Xbox One launch title, Crimson Dragon, this is what Crimson Dragon should have been. We miss you, Brian. Still love you. That counts for something, Mr. Griffin. That sounds cool to me. He's playing Resident Evil 3. I didn't even get Resident Evil 2, even though I loved the first game to death, so... Well, I should say the last game, the one before Part 1. But I also did love the remake of Part 1. Hey, I get one credit, so now I've got two credits. I'm rolling in credits. Next chapter, let's do it. PDC, pretty dang cool. Yes, this game is pretty dang cool. I didn't finish Crimson Dragon either. I mean, sometimes I think about going back to it. Was it all that bad? I just, it's been so long since I played it, I don't remember. Thank you, Mr. Griffith. That's really nice of you. 
Yeah, it did have a lot of microtransactions. Thanks to Don Matrick, that jerk. Everything that was wrong with the Xbox launch is his fault, according to me. Okay. And most of that is true and not just exaggeration. Made a giant tooth into a dirigible. Thing is great. Great to shoot at. There's a lot of really good developer interviews and stories about the Panzer Dragoon series online, by the way. Like, if. I mean, it's obviously kind of a fascinating game that there's nothing else really like it. And, yeah, the development stuff behind it is very interesting as well, I think. You know, this, Sega assembled this special team called Team Andromeda to make it, and. I can't remember a lot of the specific details, but I really enjoyed reading about it. Good. Get out of my face. Need more help. Yeah. Well, it's a remake, so they have added some nice detail. There's still some pop-up in the background, but I know there was in the original, too. Ha! We can shoot the... whatever those are called. Kind of like oil rigs. Oil rigs, or whatever. Guns of Icarus does look kind of like it. Isn't the game, the actual gameplay different though? By the way, Guns of Icarus comes from a developer named Howard Tao. And I interviewed him one time, hung out with him briefly. Nice guy. Leave me alone, turrets. <laughs> I don't think those are pretzels. Speaking of which, I think Sonic has pretzel twist again or something. I know you love the regular ones. What do you guys think about Brandy's volume? I also noticed that during the last stream she was really quiet on mic. Can everyone hear her clearly? Speak so they can judge. <laughs> No, not just laugh. Hi. I'm here. She's here. Yeah, but now you're deliberately projecting. Yes. <laughs> oh, you're welcome, Lady Kanik. I'm glad that someone actually found that useful. The newsletter always takes me like an hour or more to make. So it's really nice when people actually read it. Well, thank you, Icky. You better be telling the truth this time. Ah, rockets! Yeah, he is killing innocents and pretzels. He's blinded by the rocket's red glare, the bombs bursting in air. There we go. Did they burst through the night? <laughs> yeah, but I don't see a flag still there. Okay. Ow! Where'd that come from? Him. He's coming down. Oh, there's a guy on the left. That's interesting. Looked like it dropped a bomb. Ow! Oh. Yeah. Well, they're obviously not very friendly. Yeah, at this point, with them being in the distance... Uh, yeah, one of your shots is the guy firing with his pistol, and the other, the lock-on, is the dragon firing. It's teamwork, baby. Imperial Assault Ship. I'm enjoying a fine ginger ale. By the way, as you noticed, tonight is just Brandy and me on mic. So, we're lacking some of the amusing commentary that you might sometimes get. We're just doing our best to enjoy the game and have fun. I've never I, seen it. So. <laughs> there you go. And I, I need the practice holding the mic all by myself, you know? How about that? Ah! So what am I supposed to do about that? Avoid them? Ow! Well, easy for you to say. <laughs> it is. What am I even sh So I'm shooting at the center part, I see. I would have died 18 times by now. Ah. 
somewhat challenging. Not unfairly so at this point. Whoa. Ha! Separated them. It's a cool aircraft. Oh, where'd he go? Up. There, what? There. Not too much. Yeah. Yes. Looks like... What's that witch? It, the witch who lives in the house with chicken legs? What? Like, you, you Baba or something? I forget her name. It's a Russian folklore character. She appears in the Hellboy, the latest Bob. Hellboy movie. Ow! Stop shooting me, please. Yeah, that would be fun, Mr. Griffith. Baba Yaga, thank you. Yeah, Baba that Yaga. One. That one. Which is also what they call John Wick in the first John Wick movie. They killed his dog. Yep, that's what they get. In the second one, they stole his car. That also wasn't very smart. It. Where's that? Where are those shots coming from? This dude's tough. The boogeyman. You have to see, she's. Baba Yaga is a female witch. Like a monster witch. She's not very human looking. In all the depictions I've seen. I don't know why I just checked the other side. Being able to fire this rapidly is really handy. So my experience is going to be a little better than a normal player's experience. Asexual? Really? I thought she was specifically a witch. In Sabrina, neat. Like in the new Netflix Sabrina or the old Sabrina? Probably the new one. Sabrina movie. Uh, are you not thinking of Buffy the Vampire Slayer? No, wait, Sabrina's not a movie. It's a Netflix show. Mm -hmm. And an old TV series. Really didn't do it. New. A new series. There you go. Get your facts straight, Lyle. Where are those shots coming from? That's the hardest thing, is just watching all the different sides. Hey, Royal Bob, how are you? Nice to see old Bibbidi Bobbidi Boo. Wait, I'm still going the wrong way. He just jumps straight up and disappears, I guess. Oh, what's that beside me? Now it's doing He's separating again. Where are they? Ah, don't shoot me. Oh, I got hit by something. Just kill the boss. You're almost there. Ah. <laughs> it happens when you're talking with your hand. Sounds like Icky has the shining. It's like red run, red run. Sabrina, the movie. I mean the TV series. Ah. Red Rum is murder backwards. Run! Danny's not here right now. <laughs> you know what, Icky, talk to the hand. Face don't want to hear it. Somehow knew that was gonna happen. <laughs> he asked for it. What am I supposed to be shooting at? There we go. It's just that little spot in the center. You're shooting at him. You're getting him down. Yeah, he's almost there. God, shut up to death. Kill you until you die from it. You've already separated yes. him twice. Ah. Yes, shoot its butt. I have a joke I'd like to reply to that, but I can't, so. <laughs> Being chased into the cavern by bad guys. Like a demented mortal engines boss. How many enemies do we get? I like 67. Engines. What? I didn't even get one credit? None? Enemies missed? <sighs> Come on, you cannot even tell those are enemies. That's weak. Come on, loading time. The loading times are a bit long on Switch. 
I've got a fast memory card too. Like one of the faster ones. If this does come to other platforms, particularly PC, then obviously you'll be able to get faster loading times. Do Wait. they play good music too? Who? While they're, you're waiting. No, there's no music right here. Oh, well. Just boring loading. Probably was the same way in the original. I'm too scared of those guys. Come get some. Ah, crap. Nope. You don't want to miss too much stuff like I just did. Ah, dang it. You kind of look like you're inside an animal. Well, it's this alien structure. Very alien. Ah! I wish there was like an on-screen indicator telling you to rotate or something. Because obviously you've got the little radar, but it's hard to pay attention to in addition to everything else. Woo! That's this is a cool, cool facility. Geez. I didn't realize that. Makes sense. Nintendo just what? Increase the price because their demand went up. What? Over in Malaysia? Or all over the place? Because I didn't hear anything about it being raised over here. I don't know. Man, I lost a lot of life on that. All over the world? I don't like the sound of that, dude. Stop shooting me, please. Ah! Crap! I know, but there's no way to get life back. That's what it. Games always need to have a way to heal yourself. Don't How get hit. Don't get hit and don't die. That's yes. right. Hopefully, just the seller. Yeah, in America we have more standardized pricing. Things usually stay at retail price unless there's a sale. And when it's hardware stuff, they usually have to have permission of the manufacturer to do a sale for a lot of kinds of products. I mean, at least for consoles. What the heck is that? Jerks. Ah! is tense because of my life situation. Ah, bad guys. There's many different levels. Yeah, this place is vast. Think of how ridiculously huge it is. Descent. Huh? Like the descent. Yeah, Multiple we've been de we have been on. descending, yes. Descend is the to game. move downward. The game. Here's a game, The Descent. Weren't the three of them, in fact? Mm. Americans love that Switch Lite. Is Ow. Ouch, that was dumb of me. Ah. It doesn't even have time to figure out which way it's pulling away. Or I'm just slowpoke. If he gives me a checkpoint at the boss, I'll be fine. If not, I may be in real trouble. Whoa. What is that? What the heck? Just flying over it? Whatever that was. Uh oh. Great, it woke Guardian. up. Go, Guardian. I mean, don't go, Guardian, actually. Ah! Holy crap! Giant goose! Ah. This is me, all right. Please don't kill me. That is all. Good. Good. Go. Go. Whoa! Yeah, if I can keep up with his movement. Ah. Yeah, I'm not do that. He's trying to hug you. <laughs> it's a trap. That's true. Social distancing, bro. Sex bait. Gonna have to send him. Pigeon of doom. <laughs> <laughs> that. A pigeon of doom. Say hello for my little friend. Ay, ay, ay. He's all over the place, this guy. This game is really great. Ah! I didn't like that, though. I like 
sometimes stuff breaks off of them. <laughs> like you whittle away at them, it's very realistic in that way. Yeah, there's a lot of detail in this game. Ah, crap! Lasers. Look out for laser. Too bad. Ah! Oh! What? Still didn't kill him? Almost. What am I aiming for now? His head? There we go. Looks like a prawn. Yeah. As you can see, he's prawn to failure. Stay away, thank you. Just bouncing around. And... Uh oh, is that the prototype dragon? It's getting bright. Wow. Ooh. Come on, new level. Checkpoint. Something. Oh, it's not over. Mm -hmm. Or maybe it is. Yep. Yeah, I got a credit that time. It's more like it. Total. Three credits. Does replaying the game let you earn more credits from the same levels, I wonder? I hope so. Episode 5. So we're going either for 15 or 45 more minutes, depending on my mood and how much you guys are enjoying the stream. Yeah. You did what? <laughs> Nothing. Oh, yes. Do help a lot with that. It's beautiful. Yes, it is. They look like whales. Yes. Whales of the sky. And you shot them. Except for that one. Did I get it? Some, There's some leaves blowing by, it's a nice detail. Oops, wrong button. That was silly of me. Gotcha. Somebody up there. Somebody is behind you now. There's guys up there. Thank you for the warning. Ah! Gosh. Shikes. I mean, you warned me. Still got hit. That is my bad. Hey, leave me alone. They won't shoot you. Stay back. I think Ow. Can squat. Yeah, they make. I mean, they have cool. Ah, the dragon makes this cool shriek when you get hit. Dang it. This is getting really tough. Stop flying into me or shooting me or whatever you're doing. No means no. <laughs> that's it. That's it. Yeah. Play out from the distance. Nothing that. Just leaves. There. Oh, here they come. Ooh. Ah! Hey, look at all that smoke. Including the air. Yeah. <laughs> That's true. This pistol does have quite a lot of energy to it. It never seems to run out, does it? It fires very rapidly thanks to my turbo controller. It's a John Woo film. <laughs> Do they really never reload? That face-off is a weird movie. I like the drama of it, or the melodrama of it, you might say. The plot doesn't hold up to very much mental scrutiny. The wife not knowing that she's got a different dude with her. Maybe it was just better and she was like, hey! Or like, people, you know, 
yeah, people behave a certain way and they're shaped a certain way, so just... I don't buy it. Does that thing even have life? Because it doesn't have a life meter. Nope, don't shoot me. Okay, we got one over there somewhere. Where is it? Oh, there it is. Ah! Birds flying by. I really don't care what my friends are playing, sorry. What? There's a notification. Uh oh. Yeah, it's one shot down. What about the other one? Yes! Going down like Chinatown. And this one is huge. Yeah, it's the actual boss. Ooh. Oh boy. Oh, look at that cool platform bird structure. Very interesting structure. Ah! <laughs> it's a Gatling gun! Yeah, there you go. I'm just feeding a long here. string of bullets to it. You can't see it, because of the perspective. I want my pretzels no salt. Thank you. What? I like pretzels. Ah. They do look like pretzels. Almost got him. Come on, what else do I have to do here? Come on, just crash already. Yep. It's what is even sneaky. happening? There it goes, there it goes. I think it might do more damage than an individual shot from the pistol, but the thing is, with turbo, I'm able to fire so rapidly. Oh, great. That's not fair. Oh, and now I'm getting shot from I don't know where. It's the spider-looking thing. There's one underneath. What about those? They're coming out of the spider thing. Yeah! Thingy. You're still defeated, okay? Doesn't matter how many forms you take. Stay down. Episode 5. Yeah, the dragon's love on. I answered him already. Oh. Okay. Look at that, only four enemies missed. That's that pretty good. 95%, I got credits. two credits, yes. So yeah, normally lock-on does a little more damage, but if you fire more rapidly, then you're able to eclipse that damage. Instructions received and confirmed. All ground units mobilized. Initiate operations and secure the area. Somehow I don't think, ooh! Boom. They're not gonna secure the area from you. What is going on? Well, that's quite a visual there. Mm -hmm. I don't know what's happening. There got to be even more of a story as the games went on, like Zvi and especially Saga had tons of story. Tons of narrative. Are you fighting this evil empire? I seem to be at odds with the empire. And I'm also trying to stop the prototype dragon from getting back for some reason. Oh. Press A to continue. Let's do it. Episode 6. Exciting. Is that the prototype dragon? Am I actually supposed to be shooting it or just regular enemies? Wow! See, their, sh their shots are really hard to dodge. Oh my gosh. Showing a bunch of yellow dots on the radar? There is some. Ow. Yeah, look how much life I've already lost. I may just, like, if I die right here, I'll probably just go ahead and wrap this stream up. We'll see how it goes. Oh. Egg bomb. So I supposed to do about that? Yeah, looks like we're gonna die. Sorry, everybody. No one lives forever. 
Yeah, when you're looking sideways, you can't dodge anything. Like, it's just, if they fire and you don't kill them, you're gonna get hit. Forward view and backward view, you have some room to maneuver. Ouch. Poor dragon. You got six uh, of that going down? That's good. Yeah, I think so. Light gun for shooting while controlling the flight. Continue. No, let's not continue at this point. Uh-oh. Oh, dang it. See? I don't want to lose all progress. See? We'll try one more time. Yes, continue. Fine. <laughs> but that was really hard. That would be really cool. I could see that being helpful. Yeah, or like you said, one player piloting, the other person firing. There are rail shooters that have that ability. I can't remember what. You don't want me flying. Aww. Ever. Why not? It's worse than jumping. <laughs> Probably get motion sickness, too. <laughs> yes. Aww. That whole up is down and down is up thing really messes with me. Well, games often let you change the controls on that. For a yeah. In this level. One little shot. How many levels are there? Is this the last level? It can't be, right? Maybe. At this point, I'm not so worried about my shoot down ratio. I just want to survive. Nope. I'm looking the wrong way again. Ah! Where'd you go? Couldn't go over it. Guess I should have tried to go under it. Okay, I've got to stay more on the ball with these guys. That's what really got me last time. Ah! Both on light bad. It just doesn't give you any time to dodge anything. It's just like, by the way, you're getting shot. Oh, okay. I'm getting shot. Hey, you got the arachnoid thing. Oh, back there. See, as soon as they come on, they shoot you. That's not fair. Oh, crap. Give me alone, please. You doing that? Doing I'm not doing that. You're well. doing fine. Life. And die from that. Oh. <sighs> Just, I mean, it's so stingy with health and whatnot. Yeah, I am a little farther. Ah. Well realized industrial complex or city, whatever you call it. Venice. I call it Venice. Something like that. There's water everywhere. There is. Water, water everywhere. Yep. I always think of that next year. Ah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Leave alone, please. Thank you. Yeah. Okay, there is a guy behind. What? No, now they're in front of me. Whatever. Just leave me alone. Yeah. Come on, end of the level. Yeah. Checkpoint. Please give me a checkpoint. Ah! Hey, I can hit that thing. Oh god. Miss. Ah! Scary. There he is again. Stay back, please. I fall to pieces. Wow. That's movie phantoms. Oh, dang it. I hadn't gotten hit for a while. Behind me, there's a red dot. Ah, he's right on me. Whoa, where, where are you, guy? Gosh. 
All right, we made it to a checkpoint. Yes, thank goodness. I'm glad I didn't give up. Hey, Shitsu, how are you tonight? Hey, Evan Smile. No, I am not doing a no-hit run, but it might have looked like that for a minute. I missed a lot of enemies. Probably not going to get a credit. Hey, I did. Okay, I'll take it. I, you know, I'm having a pretty good time. I do miss seeing my kids, but being at home more has its advantages too. The people who are most unhappy with the quarantine, and they're not out of work, you know, they're just unhappy about having to be home. They're so unhappy because they don't have hobbies, you know? Like, if you have hobbies, why should you ever be bored? Just embrace your hobbies, you know? Spend some time inside your own head. It's a good place to be for many of us. What is that? A sun. So, Heaven Smile, this is a really impressive remake of a game that was already quite special. It's 25 bucks, currently Switch exclusive. Last episode, we're going to do it. We're going to finish the whole game. Wow. <laughs> For real, Jenna. No, they are not all submitting their assignments. I probably shouldn't say what percentage. 27% for me. Something like that. So. The best Panzer Dragoon is Panzer Dragoon. Dragoon Saga, the lost RPG game. It was released only on the Sega Saturn. Sega somehow lost the source code, which is quite a huge blunder. Like an epic blunder for the ages. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, Thyrenia. I think you're cool. Super Dragon. Oh god. That is pretty super. I'm with you, Thyrenia. A lot of people really like Zvi, which is part two. It's spelled Z-W-E-I. Yeah, see? Heaven's smile says you have cool thighs. <laughs> I haven't seen them, but I'm going to assume that is correct. I've always been more of a top man, but... Couldn't tell. Okay, I'm not doing so great life-wise, but can I... If I can beat this, it would be really cool to show it off. There is unlockable stuff, so even though I'm... You might be able to beat the game in one sitting, like this... It's not the end of it. Ow! I'm not... Damaging the enemy enough. I'm using turbo, by the way. This firing is a lot easier with turbo. You could use lock-on and stuff if you weren't going to do this. Otherwise, you're going to be rapidly hitting buttons a lot. What are those things? They're hard to hit, that's for sure. Ah, wrong button. Dang it! Oh. There's the lock-on. The dragon fires when you do the lock-on, the other things are pistol. Good, I killed them. Oh, wrong button again! Stop doing that! Ah! No. Breath of doom. Yep. I do feel somewhat doomed. Ooh, you broke it. <laughs> Yay, she doesn't mind the compliments. Ah. Yeah, a lot of people are just afraid to think and they're afraid of quiet time, and I don't think that's healthy. No, oh, why do I keep doing that? It's because I'm used to just holding left trigger and not using the lock-on button. I want that barrel roll. This hurts. Oh, God. Yeah, it'd be nice to have more dodging possibilities. This is a rail shooter. Rail shooters often don't allow you to dodge at all. Like, they often just... Like, if you don't shoot the stuff down fast enough, you get hit, and that's that. Uh, shit, too, we don't know yet. Don't know what? What's gonna happen to the kids don't before? Well, we you know... had any guidance. Some people have suggested they may be fired out of a cannon. I don't know if that's true or not. I think if we were to try to firing, firing them out of a cannon, there'd be a lot of problems associated with that, so I don't know if the school district is prepared for that. The, the dragon do it, you walking on with that is doing a lot of things. Yeah. You there we go. Yo! Bob Jones, we're glad you made it. All the Bobs are here tonight. Royal Bob and Bob Jones. Oh 
completely disintegrated. That was cool. That was cool. That There's was the other dragon I've been chasing, though. It is going very well tonight. It's been a good day, guys. I did some schoolwork when I got up. I played a little Dragon Quest of the Stars on my phone. There's a new event and a new banner with Irenia. I don't know if you saw those things. Wolf Blade. <laughs> good idea, Mr. Griffith. We went for a nice walk. The walk was especially nice. And I, I got in Fantasy Star Online 2 briefly before they went down for maintenance. And I started drawing a new piece of art in the game because it has this, you know, this art mode. Hey, Rank, Seeker of Chaos. Is that good or bad? I don't know. So I guess I didn't get... On Episode 3, I didn't get a credit because I got below 70%. And ah. I got two credits in Episode 5 because I got above 90%. Gotcha. So now what do you do with it? Yeah, it, it's been cool. I would have liked to have spent more time finishing that drawing in Fantasy Star, but maintenance is when it is. Ending time. Yes. Let's enjoy it, everybody. Uh-oh, who pulled me off? Did the dragon do that? Mm, don't know. Oh, yeah. Icky, we should do that, yeah, at least during the ending, because we are at the very end. I will look at the unlockables afterwards, but we'll probably wrap it up after that. I would love... Everybody who thinks this game looks cool, please consider buying it. We want this company, Forever Entertainment, we want them to bring out part twos, Vi. Remade, all fancy like this. And then, who knows, if both one and two sold well enough, maybe they would consider bringing Panzer Dragoon Saga, the RPG version, back somehow. The RPG had such an amazing story and atmosphere. Yeah, I don't know, Lyle. That may have been the ending right there. But we'll keep it going for a little while. <laughs> hey, look at that. Megapixel Studio, one of the companies that worked on this. Very complicated name there. This is Big New Debiki, I think is how you would say that. Artwork. Beautiful dragon artwork. <laughs> Arthur... Grzegorczyn. <laughs> Mr. Griffith, can you say these impossible names? You're European. Rafal Poraz Trafalski. That's not so bad. <laughs> All things considered, that guy has the most pronounceable name in his company. What happens if you slaughtered it? <laughs> <laughs> Lovely. Sebastian! Oh boy. Wojciech Tugatso Jezierski. See what I'm saying here? These people are actually named in the fictitious language that the characters speak in the game, I think. <laughs> good, good, good try. That voice check guy, he did a lot for this game. Like Kyle Gassior, Alexandra Gzegorkzin. <laughs> <laughs> PC stuff. <laughs> Adriana Kluxny, Dimitri Kowalski. <laughs> Nikolaj Kraukow, <laughs> Claudia Kubiak. I like that one. <laughs> ah, so Welsh is a complicated language too. Paul Reterski. That's not so bad. Evgeny Zevelev. <laughs> I've been emailed by somebody named Evgeny before. Tomas Ryder Sikorski. That's not bad. That was Czech guy again. Zaneta Stepian. Paul Snail. Mateus Zinkaruk. <laughs> These are the ones that I just don't. I'm not trying about. to be silly. I'm just doing my best. Joanna Ulanowska. That's not bad. Wojciech Wasawik Wasawiks. Mikhail Bols Wisniewski. Bols, which we can only assume means balls. Lore experts, Chris Solo, Wing, Ali, Matt, Urban, O'Donnell, and Miguel Dreiken. Hey! Interesting. These people appear to not be Polish or wherever this developer is located. Smoke. And Cherny, what the heck? Kids born. Aw. A kid was born during development. Very cute. It's like it's drawn in MS Paint. 
Good luck, everybody. We're giving out a copy of a really cool Capcom game for PC. Special thanks to all these people. Hey, Panda P, we're glad you made it. Families and friends. Come on, Shih Tzu. Give it a... And you all, they thank us too. It's pretty. It's a beautiful game. TA Publishing. Thank you for showing it to me because I will buy it. Dragon's Dogma Darker is a, which is a, an Oblivion and Skyrim style action RPG. Super deep, huge game, wonderful game. Forever Entertainment, that's the publisher on this one, I think. This is Big New Dabiki, thank you. You can also get Dragon's Dogma on Xbox, PS4, and Switch. Adam Buck Marciniuk, Darius Bartoszewski, Piotr Albrecht. I think that's pronounced Peter. Yes, sometimes we have nice people like Perfect Zero buy humble bundles and donate codes to the stream. Tetsuya Abe, Shoji Nishikawa, Japanese names there. Original development staff, you would assume. Team Andromeda Advisors from Grounding. Grounding is the company that made Crimson Dragon for Xbox One. So, like, even though Crim Crimson Dragon wasn't that good, right? But it did have some of the original Panzer Dragon people on staff, apparently. Land Ho Co. Limited. Junichi Suto. Hitoshi Nakanishi. Chin Futa Kawame. That was a complicated one. Hey, Firelight, it's really nice to see you. Firelight, one of our oldest female viewers after Thyrenia and Mongbox. Producer Alexander Aniel. We hope you've been all right, Firelight. Yes, we need more dragon shooting games. Dang it. Music by Brave Way Productions. They did a really good job. Sorry, Kobayashi is the composer of the remake. Oh, it just cut off, though. I would expect kind of a fade out at the end of the credits. That's a little odd. There you go. It's. Well, let's go have a look at things. Let's find out. Stats. So there's three different difficulties. I played and finished the game on normal. Nice. 42 minutes in-game. 22,000 shots fired. Accuracy, not so good. <laughs> Enemies destroyed, bosses destroyed, times defeated. Yeah, I only died once. So there is an easy mode. That's good to know. I didn't even realize I could have changed the difficulty. What about language? Japanese is on there. Okay, what do we do with the credits? Well... That's confusing. They need to explain it. <laughs> Chicago agrees. You don't just cut off the sound at the end of the credits. They come to a natural fade out. Dang it. I want to know how to get to the... There's like an unlockable dragon box where you would spend your credits, if I remember correctly. So I'm... Well, now I can play other difficulties. And then it's just gonna... We're gonna show off the intro one more time. Some people aren't here. Okay, well, yeah, you guys may have missed the intro. It's actually quite amazing, so we'll let it play. It was better than the ending. The ending was kind of short. Not terrible, just a bit short. Part two, Zvi had more of a story. Oh, Mr. Griffin, you might be right. They might just be continues, but I could have sworn this had some unlockables. Gyro controls, I don't know because I hate gyro controls. Grass heaven. What does he say? Yay, congratulations, Heaven Smile! You're a winner! I did not play Resident Evil 4 with gyro controls. I know people did praise it, so that was pretty cool. So we're just going to let the intro conclude and then wrap it up, guys, if you want to stick around for a few more minutes while that happens. I know a lot of you joined late. Again, if you like this style of game, I highly encourage you to support it by picking it up. 
It's Switch exclusive right now, it's a timed exclusive, so it will definitely come to PS4 and Steam. Who knows if it'll come to Xbox. Fingers crossed. If it comes to Xbox, I'm getting it for sure. Because you know what would make this game better? Achievements. And 4K. Visuals. Alright, Mr. Griffith, thank you for hanging out with us. We hope you have a good rest, dude. Night. So I hope everybody saw this week's newsletter. We just sent out a newsletter today in the middle of the week, which is unheard of for me, right? I haven't done that in maybe a year. But we are going to be streaming more later this week. Wednesday and Thursday at the normal stream time, we'll be streaming some Fantasy Star Online 2, which is my favorite MMO. Love playing it with Brandy Cats and a lot of the other members of our audience. If you have an Xbox One and you haven't tried it out yet, I highly recommend you give it a shot. You could even play with us on stream sometime. Alliance, in... chip two. Yes, and we have an alliance, and you need to pick the right server if you do play PSO2. So pick ship two. Uh, yes, Heaven Smile, I do intend to get all 1,000 gamer score in Fantasy Star Online 2, which I don't think is supposedly all that hard. Hasn't I've already... I think I've got like half of them, and Brandy's doing quite well, too. So, if you're wondering, like, Panzer Dragoon Part 1, it's basically establishing the setting and atmosphere. You know, you've got these, like, interesting alien ruins and such. Then Part 2 takes you more into that world, and you get to learn more about it. And then you have the RPG version, where they actually flesh it all out, and you learn more mysterious things about the... You know, the ancient race that created these ruins and technology. And then there's Panzer Dragoon Orta, which is on Xbox and Xbox One because it's backwards compatible. Really cool game, and I couldn't tell you what happens with the end of that story because I've never beaten it. Love the monster designs, the dragons, just the environmental designs. Really beautiful series. Next week, we're streaming on different days. What are we doing? Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. In addition to Saturday, of course. We'll always stream on Saturday. Aw, oh, thank you, Heaven Smile. You're not bad yourself. You look so defeated. I wish I had some goggles like that. I go swimming all the time. Or flying. They'd be good for that, too. That's why he's got him in the first place, right? Yeah. Or to keep the dust out of his eyes while he's riding on his little velociraptor-looking thing. Yes. They do look awesome. What have you been playing lately, Chicago? And Heaven Smile? I always want to know more about you guys. Hanging out with you is great. You gotta tell me what's going on on your end. Otherwise, how will we know? Animal Crossing. Oh, Animal Crossing. Of course, everybody loves that thing. Like the Animal Crossing? I do feel kind of left out not having Animal Crossing when everybody's so excited about it. But I mean, they shouldn't have released it when Fantasy Star Online 2 came out, you know? I mean, it's like... You don't go up against a game like that. That we've been waiting eight years for. Sega fans who like Panzer Dragoon may also be in love with Fantasy Star, because, you know, classic Sega series there. It's the green you seriously lantern don't moment. remember Heaven Smile? Yes, this is a Green Lantern-like moment. The writer, whoever was writing that dragon, establishes a psychic connection with the player, who is a human, but the writer's not human, apparently. Maybe in one of the alien creatures, like one of the forebears who created that technology. So you do meet at least one of those in the RPG game. Or he could just be a regular guy who died, but I don't know where the psychic part would come in if that was the case. Ooh. Doom 2016, nice. I still need to beat that. Because Doom Eternal's out, and a lot of people are really excited for it, but I haven't finished the first one. Ooh, Ori and the Will of the Wisps. That looks lovely, although Royal Bob has been complaining about it. The, ver the first Ori game, Ori and the Blind Forest, is like his favorite game ever, so I think he just holds it to a super high standard. 
Well, but I think it's, like, bugs and stuff. I don't know what the bugs are. Like, he never... Actually, he did mention what one of the bugs was. But apparently it's pretty buggy. It's not all polished. Oh, nice. Firelight likes Ori, too. Icky finished it. Sweet. I never quite finished it. I got pretty far into it. Never finished it. Shame on me. Bob Jones says, I. That's nice, Bob Jones. Use your words. <laughs> Okay, guys, we've been playing Panzer Dragoon Remake for Nintendo Switch. Remember, it's a timed exclusive right now. I really, really enjoyed it, and I look forward to playing it on other difficulties, seeing if there are any unlockables, because the series usually does have some. The artistry is just really amazing, and I love the world and the gameplay experience it's created. Good night. We'll see you soon. Remember, don't hate. Appreciate it.